Hey guys, Barry here from Epic. We're in downtown Toronto, where today we will be riding the all new Nami Blast. All right, so now let's go over the specs of the Nami Blast scooter. I'm just gonna remove my helmet here, since we're not riding. So first off, in housed in the case uh, of the deck, we have our massive 60 volt, 40 amp hour battery, which is gonna give you range of upwards 100 kilometers. So really big battery, really big deck, nice grip tape, super comfortable to ride and keep your feet parallel. Uh, we have uh, a single port here for charging and from uh, dead to full we're looking at around six hours of charging time okay we have our uh, motors we have dual 1500 watt motors sitting on 11 inch by 4 inch tires similar to the Nami Bernie we have a nice uh, full fender cover similar to the Klima that we just did on actually on both front and rear tires I can see here. Obviously the inverted uh, suspension fork which we talked about, something very cool and unique. Uh, feels great riding it as well. I wasn't so sure about it at first because I've never ridden a scooter with a, a fork inverted this way, so, but it, was, it feels phenomenal for sure. Uh, both uh, suspensions are KKE and they have uh, rebound adjustments on both uh, both of them so you can set how how stiff or loose you want your uh, suspension okay the the dual 1500 watt motors coupled with the 60 volt system this scooter is going to get you up to up speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour all right everything else uh very similar to the bernie i'm gonna say uh in terms of the uh logan hydraulic disc brakes the lighting is very nice over here. It's got the same uh, LED strip lighting as the Nami Bernie. So it's a 360 degree. Uh, works as well when you activate the signal lights for both left, right, or both at the same time. And the rear acts as a, a brake light also. Uh, same folding mechanism system. So folds the same way as all three models, the Bernie and the Klima. Very easy to use, just a simple flap, fold down, and away you go. The ride quality, I was honestly very uh, amazed with it, as I am with all of NAMI's products. It's very super smooth, cushy, comfortable. Um, acceleration is very nice. It's got dual 50 amp controllers in here as well, so uh, sine wave, which gives it that nice smoothness and acceleration yeah we have uh, the same settings here on the display as the nami bernie we have uh, we made a display video as well so if you want to take a look at that we go through each and every setting in the, the different video we'll put the description below or a link right here <laughs> so while i was riding the scooter uh, as you can see in through gridlock traffic uh, with potholes and everything around me I was a hundred percent confident with the ride and the quality of it that you know I I just felt good and comfortable and at no point did I feel intimidated by other vehicles around me so I would say that this is a, a great scooter you know for for all around but definitely as well for commuting okay so the total weight of this scooter is 45 kilograms. So, I mean, not the lightest scooter in the world, but you're getting crazy components. I mean, we got a 40 amp hour battery here in dual 1500 watt motor, so you can't expect it to weigh much less. We have uh, the ground clearance from the bottom of the deck to the ground is 125 millimeters, while the clear the the distance from the from the ground to the top of the deck is 270 millimeters. So similarly to the Nami Bernie, this frame is a one-piece one aluminum welded frame. It's a massive frame, a beautiful, another beautiful piece of art, uh, very stealthy looking like all the other models. So the Nami Blast scooter also has an IP55 
rain resistance, which means that it can absorb some dust and light powered jets towards it. Obviously nothing too strong, nothing's bulletproof, but it can handle some water, definitely rain, no problem. So if it's raining outside, don't worry about it. You can, you can still ride it. It's, it's safe. Obviously you don't want to be riding through rivers, but you know, otherwise a little bit of rain won't hurt it. Snow, snow as well should be okay. A little bit of snow, same thing. So my first impression of the Nami Blast scooter was that it handled exceptionally well. It was very, very nimble, easy to cut corners, make turns, stop. Uh, having ridden many, many scooters in the past, I, I did feel like it was certainly one of the top of its class for sure. Uh, very, a very similar ride quality, I'm gonna say, as the Nami Bernie, but it is you know, significantly cheaper, probably being that it's a 60 volt system versus the Bernie, which is a 72 volt system. And as well, maybe the braking system is a little bit better on the Nami Bernie, but it was, it was great, it felt, it felt good. The suspension felt really cushy, uh, exerted, as I said, a lot of confidence in the ride and uh, overall had a really good, nice feel to it. Uh, accelerates very nice, very smoothly. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have the same top speed as an Ami Bernie at uh, 80 kilometers, so that's another difference, but overall, a very similar look, other than, of course, the inverted suspension fork, which is a very unique characteristic that everybody always points out on this Nami Blast, but yeah, I gotta say, it's uh, uh, a great, great looking scooter anyways, very unique and uh, has all the same great and similar components you're used to from NAMI. So definitely something to consider when looking at uh, a scooter in this range and at this price point, I think it's uh, a phenomenal value for sure. So I think this scooter probably best suited uh, for really anything, it has like mul multiple applications that it could be used for as you saw, commuting was very good, but I could see it, and I haven't done it yet, but we will, we will dip into it for sure, but I wanna see how this thing handles off-road, and I'm sure it's gonna be great with the suspension I felt. Shouldn't be too bad at all, right? Obviously, we've got street tires here, but these tires can handle definitely some off-road. The CS CST stock tires here are really good tires. Uh, if you're gonna be you know, doing a lot of street riding, some of you, you know, might want to consider maybe upgrading to the PMT Stradale tires, uh, which are very high performance tires, but nothing wrong with the CST tires. They, they work phenomenal too. So I think they're a good tire. All right, let's get back out riding. The fun stuff. So we had a great ride downtown. This uh, is gonna conclude our review. We stopped here, right in front of Union Station. Beautiful spot. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that ride and review with me and the NAMI Blast. Uh, as always, if I missed anything, I will put everything down below in the description. 
but if you have any questions you're more than welcome and please I please 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 comment and we will get back to you uh, if you like this video give us a like as always and subscribe to keep uh, keep posted with the latest and greatest videos. We will be doing many more, many, many, many more. We will be digging into all these uh, NAMI scooters and looking in the insides for you, teaching you how to change uh, whatever you need to change, whether it be tires, controllers, displays. We, we do everything uh, when it comes down to it. So other than that, uh, don't forget, always wear your helmet and uh, peace out. Have a great night or day.